Hey guys, new video here. So, uh, in the last few years, PUE has become, like, I think, a, a much better game. I think we all agree on that. But, like, the amount of uh, clicks and things that you need to pick up, and things you need to move around in your different stash tabs and stuff, it's gotten pretty crazy. Like, you, all, you often see me, like, complain on stream about, how, like, how much micromanagement is actually involved in PUE. And then from time to time, you'll see these threads pop up on Reddit, um, like this one right here that I'll show. I was just scrolling through this, reading through some of the comments, and a lot of it made sense. So that's like mainly why I uh, I made this video. Um, so. I'm also going to link two videos in the description. Uh, one is a Dr. Levi uh, video. It's very short. Uh, I kind of use these like hand exercises every, I'd say every few days. I don't do them as much as I should or as much as uh, is, I guess, like recommended in the video. But I do do the wrist and the finger stretches every couple days. And it does seem to help out a little bit. Um, helps a little bit more at leak starts when I'm kind of like, you know, playing a lot more. Um, but you can try to incorporate those into like your your daily uh, routine. And the other one is uh, just an interesting video I found about like it's esports and uh, and how like RSI and carpal tunnel and stuff like that affects uh, esports and, and just like uh, gamers in general. And that was really interesting, mostly from the takeaway that I got is that it's probably not carpal tunnel. So carpal tunnel is basically, if you don't know, just a very quick tail there. There's an actual like tunnel that apparently leads from your forearm to your hand and all these like nerves and tendons go through there. And uh, if that gets messed up, then you're in a bit of trouble. Uh, and after watching this video, I kind of realized that, you know what, it's probably not carpal tunnel, especially if you are younger, right? You're not like a boomer or anything. And so you're going to be okay. It's probably just some discomfort, but you can watch that video and get a little bit more um, more detail on that. So uh, moving on to what I actually do to reduce my chances of getting like carpal tunnel in the future or getting RSI. And there's a lot of things. The first thing is that I split my key presses. Uh, on the screen right here, I'm going to link just a GIF that I recorded of my hockeys. If you didn't know, there are two sets of hockeys. So um, this was a recent patch where before we only had like this one set but if you press your um, control you're gonna see an entire new uh, five set of keys that you can customize in your UI tab in your options and you can assign those to hockeys as well so what I do is this is something that um, has helped me since I remember it legionly because everyone was playing cyclone uh, and what, what I quickly realized is that if I split my actions between my left hand and my right hand then, then each hand is taking 50% less load, right? So what I do is I usually almost always for my builds, I have my right click as obviously casting or attacking for my main skill. And then on my left hand, my E, it's almost always E because that's just most comfortable for, for what I use. Um, e is also gonna be that. So when I cyclone, I can either use E or I can use right click and I do alternate. Uh, I've gotten pretty good alternating um, pretty freely between those. And it also helps because like if you need to left click, right, then you can't hold down the right click usually as easily. So um, so then it, like certain situations in the game lead to using certain uh, buttons, rather E or the right click. And this is probably like the biggest thing for me that's helped. Because you'll really notice like if you've been using like one button for your activations, that hand is going to get really tired. Um, so definitely like try to split up your hotkeys between one on your left hand, one on your right hand. Okay. Um, the next one's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more sweaty. And I don't know if anyone has the capability to do this. Uh, keyboards these days are pretty modern. They have like profiles in them, like hardware, software attached to them uh, in the keyboard, right? So what I do is now... Um, I think about what's natural for my hand resting. And for me, you know, my left ring finger is on A, my uh, middle finger is on W, and then my index finger on my left hand is on E and D usually, right? So um, I have macro keys on my keyboard that can switch the profile. The profile of the keyboard is just uh, what are the default settings for this profile, right? So what I can do is I can hit a button on my keyboard and it completely switches the keys. So let's say I am stashing, right? You've done a few maps, you have some dump tab cleaning, you're trying to like take out all of uh, like this kind of currency or you're trying to take out all this kind of map and you need to start spam clicking, right? So what I do is I hit my macro key and it shifts my keyboard into a um, orientation where A is actually either my control or my shift depending on what I'm trying to do. And then W, E, and D are all left clicks, right? So that way I now have like three buttons for left click. So I can left click on my mouse, I can left click with my E key, I can left click with my W key, and I can left click with my, my D key um, as well. And this is, once again, this is like really, really sweaty, but if you play the game for many, many hours, it might be worth it for you to do this um, so that you aren't just spam left clicking. Cause like, if you ever open like stack dicks or you open like, uh, you fuse an item yourself, you're gonna notice that like clicking it, like in repetition like that for thousands of clicks, is pretty damaging, right? 
So that's what I do. Once again, the reason I have uh, multiple profiles, one is for the shift. So shift is for things like fusings, right? Or like you're trying to spam something down. Um, and then control is for sorting. Control will move your items from your inventory to your stash or your stash to your inventory, right? And so that's that's what I use. I use multiple profiles. So one button will switch it to the, the, the profile where I can do this. And I have many left clicks on my left hand and my right hand. Once again, splitting up the clicks. And then another profile is gonna be for the control, right? Sorting between inventory and uh, stash and then vice versa. So that has helped also a lot. Once again, I don't know what keyboard to use, but pretty much every every known brand of uh, peripheral now has software for you to enable these macros or to enable uh, these settings so once again go into your software and see if you have the technology to do that uh, and then another one is going to be so let's talk about the mouse right i'm going to throw up a picture of my mouse on the screen and this is probably uh, something that ha will have a lot of um, conversation about it because, you know, most people just use a flash macro, right? If you're not a streamer, you're not someone who's like recording their gameplay, um, you're like, nothing's going to happen. It is against TOS, right? But, you know, it's, it's, I haven't heard of anyone being banned or I can't condone it. But, you know, if, if that's going to save your, your wrist, then, you know, you kind of, you kind of, um, are uh it's up to you right if you want to use that kind of stuff just know that you know if one day they do have cheat detection or something like that uh then you know you know it's uh prepared to deal with the consequences but i i don't think they have that right now um <clears throat> so with the, the mouse here you're gonna see um some side buttons and these are normal for mmo mouse right you play a lot of wow you play a lot of other mmos you're gonna see these for your hockeys um or see these mice used for your hockeys uh, pretty often so what I do is the first few buttons I always use for my five flats, and then I have like redundant buttons on the, the, the top, or I guess the right side of it, because sometimes I might want to press my Quicksilver without pressing anything else. Sometimes I might, when I'm leveling, I only want to press the first four buttons for the first four flats, and then uh, a separate button for the Quicksilvers, or if I'm using two Quicksilvers, right, I might want to alternate those buttons without pressing the rest of them. So that's how I do it on my uh, mouse. And remember, RSI usually comes from uh, like an awkward move or you know a movement that's like re repeated in, in like a way where it's gonna hurt your hand so when you think of your flats let's say you have that one two three four five right that's kind of a weird movement for your hands I'm like doing it right now on my keyboard and shifting all my fingers up you know letting go of your main hockey is kind of dangerous actually and so, you know, especially you have to press that number five if you have that. So it, it's kind of a weird movement. I don't recommend going with the default one, two, three, four, five for the, the flats. I really recommend you uh, doing something where you have it on your mouse. And these mice are pretty cheap these days. Uh, just as a, um, I guess as like disclosure, uh, I am sponsored by Corsair. But, you know, even before I was, I've been using like the Corsair keyboards, the Corsair mice and stuff like that for a very long time on, on stream. If you've been watching for a while. So uh, just, just to get that. Out there that's why I'm, I'm, you'll see me displaying corsair products here so um when you do this with your mouse it has a lot of benefits right because your thumb is pretty big and so your thumb can actually press all the buttons and i'll talk about a server actions and one press per server action later on in a little bit um uh, because there will be a lot of questions about that too but if you look at the size of your thumb you can easily cover as many of these keys as you want and you can kind of tweak it so that your your thumb is pressing the number of flasks that you uh that you need to and it's way better than using your fingers to press it on the left hand okay Another thing um, for this is that you can have uh, other keys, like for example, your scroll wheel on your mouse can also be edited because you can lock your zoom in, zoom out in game in the UI so that like when you scroll, you don't zoom out or zoom in. So you're always at the maximum uh, distance of the camera and you can use your, your scroll wheel as a left click up and down. And that way that'll save you some clicks and some, uh, some, um, some stress as well. Okay. So use the scroll wheel as left clicks. Another thing I'm going to talk about um, be, besides the mouse is just, I guess, this is like the toughest part. It's going to be posture and, I, I guess, positioning of your arm. So, for me, I'm using a, uh, a chair that has arm rest, okay? And I really recommend this because it allows your elbow and your your forearm to kind of rest on that armrest. And then your hand is uh, is on the mouse. And I try to keep my, my forearm at a parallel level with the ground, okay? Uh, I've heard that this is uh, pretty helpful. And I've never had any issues with my shoulder or anything like that. Because the armrest is going to take the pressure off of your shoulder. And because, and, like, like, try this. Like, try, like, just, like, 
using your mouse on the on the table with your shoulder holding up the rest of your arm it's just kind of weird to me and over a long period of time that could cause some some strain there so that's why i i, I really recommend anything with uh with the armors but most chairs these days are gonna have that armors and a lot of them what's like the most popular chair i guess a dx racer i use i use a aeron but um, as long as you have an armrest, hopefully with an adjustable armrest even, so you can get that perfect uh, angle, that perfect parallelness with the, the ground of your forearm, uh, you will be just fine. Um, another thing is, let's just talk about loot filter in general, okay? So loot filters is kind of, uh, it's kind of like this. The less you pick up, the less clicks you have, right? Early league, as you go on um, week after week, you should be editing your loot filter so that it becomes more strict and it's less things to pick up. Because if you look at a never sync, like normal filter, strict filter, semi-strict filter, whatever, there's just hundreds, thousands of items out there. And that looks ridiculous, right? You're gonna be picking up so many things, you're gonna be clicking, misclicking. Um, if you just get a stricter filter for the top, the appropriate time in the league, obviously in Soul Cell Found is a little bit different, but for most of us that play on um, the regular leagues, the trade leagues, you know, get a stricter filter so that you can pick up less things and click less. Um, and then that way it will save you a lot of hand paint as well. Because a lot of stress comes from like, you know, you're running around really fast and now you gotta go backwards and click very specifically on that on that item. And over a long period of time, that can hurt your hands as well. Okay, let's get to this section on uh, macros. Okay, so macros is a point because it's a point of contention in the PUE community because the moment you hear macros, you think something TOS because there are things that are TOS and there are things that are not. Okay, um, so macros are just something in your computer usually used with auto hotkey, a program that sends some kind of command. It does something with some button press. That's all it is. It's very simple, and what the rules are famously is that you can't use a popsicle stick right because we we've like seen those uh support emails in the past so there's a lot of memes coming from this where uh if you use a popsicle stick what's actually happening is you're pressing one button essentially because a popsicle stick is one button to press like your five flaps right and that is technically illegal and uh, it's pretty hilarious because when let's go back to the mouse situation which i was mentioning earlier when i use my thumb to press it it's fine because uh, you might be like well your thumb is a possible say well no because my thumb is activating five separate buttons right F sometimes it's four sometimes five sometimes six because of the redundancies um my thumb is activating five different um key presses by myself so that's fine and then those key presses are set each sending a action to the server so that is also fine okay so the general rule remember one server action per key press okay um things that are the most commonly used in poe are going to be like trade helper macros like awaken poe trade trade macro mercury trade poe overlay you know uh, trade companion PoE. like there's so many different things that you can use and these are all allowed okay so price checking macros are outside the game uh so think about it like you are taking the info let's say you have like a gold rim okay as an item you're taking the info that you see on the tooltip and then you type them into your browser uh on the official trade website and then you take all the criteria you're entering like you know i want like 40 resists i want like this much evasion whatever you want to put in there and then you are manually searching right these trade macros are doing exactly that outside the game so um because of that it is totally allowed okay and so um since none of these multitude of actions are being sent to the the game server and getting some kind of response they are fine there's a one small fringe case with poe overlay that was sending like millions and millions of requests to the trade api um and that was like causing some some huge issues but that was a small number of people and that has since been resolved right for the most part all of these trade macros uh you know response macros things like this are absolutely allowed and you don't need to um worry about that the reason i'm bringing these up is because this is this does tie into rsi right because if you are searching these things manually you're not using these programs you're actually hurting yourself because instead of pressing like control d or like control alt d or whatever you're you're actually like manually like alt tabbing or alt escape and you're typing things in you're swinging your you know you're moving all these extra keys on your keyboard you're clicking all these extra times and that does add up in poe especially if you play on a trade league so trade macros price check macros um response uh companion macros are very very important to save yourself not just time but stress on your hands okay so let's talk about like the trade reply response invite macros and a little bit about why these are allowed too. so the most the, the confusion comes from like 
key presses versus server actions, right? So there's there's all this confusion on these macros because they're multiple key presses, but only one server side action making them um, allowed. So for example, my thank you message is uh like like, like my thank you message is I'll put up on the screen it says like thank you for that trade. You are Segoy, whatever's going on in your Kokoro right now. Please know that you are Kawaii and your story is not filler. You are loved, right? That is my uh, my automated trade response after I finish a trade with my POE lurker. And you might be like, wait a minute. That is like over a hundred key presses that you that you're sending automatically. How's that allowed, right? And that is because like you could type out a billion letters with with the chat window open, and that's not sending any server actions, right? The server's not really responding to that. You're not sending a message to someone else. You're just typing on your keyboard. That is why the one click is is allowed because the moment you hit enter. That one huge message that automatically got typed out with the macro is one server action. So that is um, totally allowed there. So I, I really recommend getting these uh, these different trade companions, these price checking macros, so that it can save you um, clicks in the future, okay? Now, um, with all this said, I'd say do whatever you need to do to save yourself. Like, like if you're ever like, in pain or uh like some serious pain with your hands or well, you need to like consult a medical professional right don't just like don't ask like twitch chat or like youtube comments or something about what to do uh if you're really in pain you need to go see a doctor or something um but besides that hopefully this video helped um i just wanted to share some of the things that i do overall that you might not have thought about uh in terms of saving yourself both clicks and time and stuff like that so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys uh, have any more questions i stream every day on um on Twitch and I hope you guys uh, you come come stop by and ask me any questions there. Okay, thanks for watching my video guys. Bye. Bye.